Ohio State coach Urban Meyer announced his retirement, and there's a lot of reasons going back and forth. But when you hear this term, and I don't mean to make light of it, lesion on the brain is something he's dealt with the last number of years, that's serious business. And if you've ever looked at close-ups of Urban Meyer on the sidelines this year and even go back to last year, sometimes it just looked like the man was in pain, like he was fighting off headaches or migraines or something. He admitted at his press conference, Urban Meyer admitted, that even during the Penn State game last year that he had a lot of physical pain during the game. And, you know, when you think about all that, what a lot of these coaches go through, now they're paid millions upon millions and millions of dollars. But we've just had even right up close, some health problems for different coaches. Tyron Lue, last year, missed 10 games, had sleep deprivation, anxiety, and at one point he said he was spitting up blood. I thought the Cavs should have fired him in the offseason because he didn't look good to me when he came back physically, and I could tell you when I saw him before the season opened, he looked like it was the end of March and just looked exhausted already. This was before they played a regular season game. Six games into the season, they replaced him with Larry Drew. This is not to knock Tyron Lue, but I'm just saying there's health problems there. Terry Francona has dealt with a lot of health problems in his career. And in 2017, he had to leave the team for a little while, and he had a heart procedure done. You know, again, a lot of this stuff, these physical problems are stress-related. Now, if I'm Urban Meyer, and I'm 54 years old, and they're talking about lesions on the brain and this kind of thing, by the way, Browns fans, let's not talk about Urban Meyer coaching the Browns. A way to deal with stress and these problems is not to say, gee, I want to coach the Browns in the NFL. That is not something any doctor would recommend. But Urban should take a year off and maybe two, and just see how he does. Here's an interesting guy who kind of got out on top and knew when to do it. Bill Cowher left the Steelers, and remember, he was, his wife had cancer. So for a while, Cowher was helping his wife. His wife passed away. Then people wanted him to come back, and suddenly Bill Cowher discovered, hey, doing these NFL halftime shows and motivational speaking and just kind of being the expert, that's a lot more fun than being on the sidelines. If you remember, Cowher's face was one of those uh, where he did he, every emotion. You could see the grimacing and uh, 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 all that stuff. And you could just feel what he was going by looking at his face. And, you know, and he walked out, greatest, one of the greatest coaches in Pittsburgh Steeler history, walked out with his health, and it was probably a good move. Now, if the Browns wanted to sit down and talk to Urban Meyer, pick his brain on, you know, Big Ten players, Ohio State players, make him even an advisor to the team. Because he would have known all the top NFL players headed to the draft and even ones out there. Because my guess is, you know, the top 50 or top 100 players every year, Urban Meyer and his staff have been recruiting. So they've gone way back into high school and everything else with those guys. Urban Meyer would be almost like an encyclopedia for somebody who wanted to help prepare for the draft. I'd like to see him maybe used in that way. But Urban Meyer coaching the Browns, no, we don't want to do that. In fact, Urban Meyer should not coach anybody for a year or two until he knows exactly where his health stands.